Now here, O son of Pita, Arjuna, how by practicing yoga in full consciousness of me, with mind attached to me, you can know me in full, free from doubt. श्री भगवान उवाच मैया सप्त मना प्रार्थ जोगं जिंजन मदाश्रय असंग संग समग्र माम यथा ज्ञासी तत्नो द लॉर्ड भगवान भगवान मीन्स द मोस्ट पावरफुल Almighty, with six opulences, that is Bhagwan. Bhagwan means opulence, <coughs> and ban. This word is used in the sense of possession. Just like generally, we say Bhagwan. We Indians we know. Bhagwan means fortunate. This word Bhagwan comes from Bhago. Bhago, and in relationship with Bhago, the word comes Bhago. And Ban means one who possesses. Ostathe bhutu, the Sanskrit word. When the meaning is to possess, then one affix is added, which is called bhat, bhagavat, and the first word of the bhagavat shabda is bhagavan. So we are trying to understand bhagavan. Uh, Which is explained by Bhagwan Himself, Bhagwan God. You cannot understand God or Bhagwan by your speculation. Any one of us, our senses are defective. Just like. We are very much proud of our eyes to see. Sometimes some rascal says, "Can you see? Show me, God." He does not think that how far his eyes are capable to see, but he wants to see God. Uh, our senses are conditional. So long the electric light is there, we can see. If it is immediately dark, we cannot see. So what is the value of the seeing? But we are very much proud of seeing. Similarly, we are about defective senses, and we accept something which is not fact. That is called illusion, and we commit mistake. Every one of us. Ah. There is no man in the world who can say, "I did not commit any mistake in my life." That is not possible. To err is human, it is said. So the, we have got four defects: we commit mistake, we are illusion, brahm pramad, just like we accept this body as myself. I am this body. Ah. Uh, Who are you? 
I am Mr. Such and Such. I am Indian. I am American. I am Englishman. I am white. I am black. I am fat. I am thin. In this way, we give description of our body, but we do not know what I am. This is called illusion. And commit mistake, we have got experience. Many times have committed mistake, blunder in our life. So Brahm Pramat Karnapatam. Karnapatam means Karan means the senses through which we act. Just like we catch up through the hand. This is called Karan. So Karan, these are imperfect. I am catching with my hand, but if the hand is paralyzed, so long we are not paralyzed, our machine is going nicely, we can catch. Otherwise we cannot catch. This is condition. We can catch under certain condition. So therefore our senses are imperfect. Karuna apotu. Apotu means imperfect. Varam pramad karuna of and another defect is banchana or cheating. I am so much defective, still I want to impress others that I have got full knowledge. How you can have full knowledge you are if you are so defective? Just like a diseased man, he cannot say, I am perfect in health. That is not possible. Similarly, if we are defective in so many ways, and if I want to become teacher or preacher to give you the truth, then how can I give? This is not possible. So we cannot hear from anyone who is defective. That is not pure knowledge. That is not perfect knowledge. If we hear from some defective who theorize, I think, in my opinion, maybe, perhaps, these are nonsense speaking. Almost everyone, the so-called scientists, philosophers, they simply theorize. I think, who are you? You are thinking like that. You are imperfect. So we cannot accept the theories or the statement of some defective person. We should hear from the person who is not defective, perfect. Therefore, our process of hearing uh, or getting knowledge is from the perfect person. That is called Krishna consciousness. Uh, we are hearing Bhagavad Gita. We are getting knowledge from Bhagavad Gita because Bhagavan Himself speaking. Uh, Therefore, here it is said, although it is said by Krishna, everyone knows that Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita and Vasudev recorded it and then put it into the Mahavarat, this statement. But here Vasudev purposely says, one may not misunderstand that this knowledge is perfect. Therefore, he says, Bhagavan Ubhacha. Bhagavan Ubhacha means there is no defect. You can accept it as it is, and you get the full knowledge. This is the meaning of Bhagavan Ubhacha. Many times he has said. Uh, so Bhagavan Ubhacha, and he is speaking about himself. Bhagavan Krishna uh, coming here, jada jada hi dhanmasya glani bhavati bharata, Tadatmanam sijami aham paritranayo sadhunam vinasayo sadhuskita. 
धर्म संस्थापना था या जुगे जुगे संभव भगवान काम स्पर्श दिस पार्ट पास तो लेट पीपल नो व्हाट इज भगवान नॉट दिस सो कॉल रैस्केल इनकार्नेशन जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज भगवान इफ भगवान भगवान मींस द सिक्स अपलेंसेस इन फुल ऐशज्जस्य बीजस्य जसस्य श्रिय ज्ञान वैराग्यस्थय भग इति सरंगना ऐशज्ज मीन्स वेल्थ रिचेस वन हु इज द ग्रेटेस्ट रिच मैन एवरी वन ऑफ आर्स देर आर सो मेनी रिच मैन ही आर प्रेजेंट ही आर बट नो बडी कैन से आई एम द रिचेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो वन हु कैन से एंड प्रूव that he is the richest in the world he can be accepted as bhagwan not this rascal cheap bhagwan uh, cheap bhagwan we don't accept we accept bhagwan ramchandra bhagwan krishna because they did something which is impossible to be done by any human being uh, we are not going to accept cheap bhagwan so bhagwan means who is the richest who is the most famous who is most who is the strongest who is the most beautiful who is most wise and who is most renowned uh just like uh, uh krishna krishna says That Bhoktaram Jagatavasam Sarvaloka Maheshwar. He is the proprietor of all the lokas. Uh, lokas means where uh, the people are living entities live. So there are so many planets. Everywhere there are living entities. Uh, uh, Om Bhut Bhuvasa Tasvitu Varna. There is Bhuloka, Bhuvarloka, Saraloka, Janaloka, Mahaloka, Tapoloka, Sattaloka, Brahmaloka. Same fourteen planetary system. Uh, then down, Tal, Atal, Nital, Talatal, Patal, Rasatal. There are so many. This is only one universe. There are millions of universes. जस्य प्रभा प्रभवत जगदंड कोटि कोटि वी इंडियन्स अंडरस्टैंड मिलियन्स देन मिलियन्स एंड यूनिवर्सेस जस्य प्रभा प्रभवत जगदंड कोटि कोटिषु अशेष वसुधादि विभूति भिन्न एंड इन ईच एंड एवरी यूनिवर्स देर आर मिलियन्स ऑफ प्लैनेट्स and each planet is different from the other uh just like the moon planet you are going to uh leave there but you cannot leave there because it is the scientist says 200 degrees below zero the temperature so it is different atmosphere uh similarly in the solar i mean the sun planet you cannot go there but krishna can go there that is krishna that is god because krishna is not like us neither his body is like us ishara parama krishna sachidananda vikra and he went to this sun planet that is stated in the bhagavad gita fourth chapter he says imang bibhasati jugam pratama naham mayam Just like here, Bhagavan says, "Maya sattva mana pratha jogam." This is a yoga. Similarly, this yoga system was spoken to the sun god, Maya sattva mana. And jogam, uh, uh, what is that? Imang vivasati jogam. Imang jogam. The same thing. as krishna is speaking to arjuna 
The same thing was spoken to sun god. Imanga vivasati, vivasati, and to vivas, vivasyan. Vivasyan, the president of the sun planet, he is known as vivasyan. His name is given. Just like we know who is the president of the United States or India. Similarly, those who are advanced in knowledge, they know who is the predominating deity or president of that planet. That requires knowledge. So Krishna said that I spoke to the sun god, Vivasan. So we cannot enter into the sun planet. That is not possible. It is so fiery. Temperature is so high. But Krishna can go. Otherwise, High Krishna went and spoke to the Sun God, it is stated. Therefore, we are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. We do not interpret the meaning that Krishna, that this Krishna, that is all so many nonsensical. No. Simple meaning is that if Krishna instructed the Sun God, Vivasana, then he went there as he comes here. That is natural conclusion. And because he entered the sun planet and he did not burn down into ashes, therefore his body is different. Because if we go, if we enter such high temperature, immediately we are finished. What to say about speaking? The Krishna spoke. These are natural, as it is, conclusion. You cannot interpret. Uh, so, therefore, conclusion is Krishna's body is different from us. Uh, one who does not know, rascal, he thinks that Krishna is like ours. Uh, Krishna, how he can be like our son? If he entered the sun planet and spoke to the president of the sun planet, then his body is different. Uh, Therefore Krishna says, Abhajananti māṅga mūrha mānuṣaṁ tanuvāsita. Because I look just like a human being, the rascal think of me, I am an ordinary man. Therefore the conclusion is, one who thinks of Krishna as one of us, he is a fool. He is a rascal. Krishna's body is explained in the śāstra, Vedi. What is that body? Satchitananda Vigraha Ishara Parama Krishna Satchit Ananda Vigraha Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhavitavi Savi Jeva Nijarupa Tayaka Lavi Goloka Eva Nivasati Akhilatma Bhuta Govinda Madhi Puritam Tamang Vaja. These are the basic information. So Krishna has body. But not a body like us. Uh, that is stated in the Vedas. Apani Pada Javanagrahita Pashati Achakhu. Pashati Achakhu. He has no eyes, but he sees. Uh, then what is that saying power? That means he has got a different type of eyes, but he has got his eyes. He is not Niraka but not akar like us. His body is satchidānanda vigra, sat ananda Sat means eternal, and chit means full of knowledge, and ānanda means full of bliss. So his body is made of such qualities, satchidānanda vigra. Now you can compare your body if we compare, if I think of my body, it is not sat. Sat means eternal. This body will be finished. Then it is not sat. It is asat. Uh, sat means which exists, and asat means which does not exist. Therefore, how you can say Krishna's body and my body 
is the same? No. Then chit, chit means knowledge, and our body is full of ignorance. Uh, we cannot understand knowledge. We have no knowledge immediately what is beyond this world. If some, you ask me what is beyond this world, then I will have to ask some of my disciples what is there beyond this world. Therefore, it is not chit, not full of knowledge. But Krishna knows, he says in the Veda Hang Samiti Tani. I know everything, past, present and future. Uh, when Arjun inquired, Krishna Arjun, he is also playing just like on Krishna's friend. So he inquired for dissipation, dissipation of the ignorance that my dear Krishna, you are saying that you spoke this philosophy, Bhagavad Gita, formally to the Sun God. Without asking him, how did you go? Uh, how did you return? He simply asked, the Krishna, I know that you are my contemporary. We are of the same age. And how can I believe that? Millions and trillions of years ago, you spoke to Sun God. Uh, <clears throat> so the answer was that, my dear John, at that time, because you are my friend, you are also there, but you have forgotten. I have not forgotten. Therefore, he is full of knowledge. We cannot say, what we did in our childhood, we have forgotten. This is one of our qualifications, forgetfulness. But Krishna says that you have forgotten because you are living being. Your nature is to forget. But because I am the Supreme Lord, I am not forgotten. Therefore, his knowledge is perfect. And then, Ananda, Ananda means pleasure, blissfulness. He is always, Krishna, while he was present on this planet, uh, he showed how to dance with the gopis. Uh, he was always full of Ananda. Here we have got Krishna. He is Ananda Murti. He is not in Nirananda. Without blissfulness, he is always with his consort, Srimati Radharani. Uh, and he is playing flute, and Radharani is dancing. So this is Ananda. Uh, so where is our Ananda? We imitate Krishna, uh, but we are not able to enjoy because we are in this material body. In this way, from Bhagavad Gita, if we study Bhagavad Gita nicely, then we can understand what is God. Otherwise, you can go on speculating for millions of years and for many, many births. You cannot understand what is God. There are so many societies, theological societies, these theosophical societies. What do they know about God? They do not know. Neither can know. It is not possible. Because they are thinking with their imperfect senses. How you can have the idea of the perfect, of the unlimited, by your imperfect speculation? That is not possible. Uh, therefore, this Hastra says, Athapiti deva padambuda jaya. Prasada leshanu grihita evahi janati tattam. Tattam means the absolute truth. You are absolute truth. Who can understand the absolute truth without your mercy? Uh, just therefore, Krishna is merciful to Arjuna. And therefore, he says, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, 
मैया सत्य मना प्राप्त माई डियर इफ यू सिंपली कॉन्सेंट्रेट आर मेडिटेट अपन मी कृष्ण मैया सत्य मई आसक्त मई मी सान टू मी कृष्ण मई आसक्त मना दो आर एटैच टू मी दैट इज परफेक्ट योग दैट इज योग द योगीज या भार नेम्स ऑफ सो मेनी योगीज मेडिटेशन द मेडिटेशन इज गुड बट मोस्ट ऑफ देम डू डू नॉट नो वॉट इज मेडिटेशन मोस्ट ऑफ दैम हाउ दे डू नॉट मेडिटेट अपन कृष्ण मेडिटेशन मीन्स to fix up one's mind on the supreme personality of god first of all they do not know who is the personality of god but the yoga practice according to shastra is that here it is maya sakta mana prarth yogam this is yoga in other vedic literature that is also stated the same thing ध्यानावस्थित तदगति न मनसा पसंत जम जोगी न जोगी मीन्स हु मेडिटेट इट इज द बिजनेस ऑफ द जोगी इज टू मेडिटेट बट इफ यू डू नॉट नो अपन होम टू मेडिटेट दैट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ योर योग देर फॉर आई हैव सीन प्रैक्टिकली इन अमेरिका देर आर सो मेनी योग सोसाइटीज close their eyes and i do not know what they are meditating but i have seen there is snoring <laughs> and what they will do <laughs> this is yoga sir ah so don't be misled by this bluffers yoga sister don't be misled. here is yoga ah krishna because yoga means to meditate upon the supreme dhyana avasthit tat gati na manasa mind fully absorb and they see krishna or narayan or the same thing so oh, jang brahma varunand rudra stunanti dibai sabai vidai sang pada krama upanishadai gayanti jang samaga dhyana avasthit tat gati na manasa pasanti jang yogi na जशातंगण विदु सुरासुरगण दीवाय तस्म नम दिस इज वेदिक मंत्र सो योग मीन्स टू थिंक ऑफ कृष्ण दैट इज योग सो इट इज ऑल्सो कन्फर्म इन द सिक्स चैप्टर वी आर रीडिंग सेवन चैप्टर कृष्ण से कृष्ण टॉट और जोन हाउ टू प्रैक्टिस योग then he concluded his teaching on the yoga that yogi naam api sarve sa madgata antaratmana sadhyavan bhajati jo ma sami yukta tamo mata who is the first class yogi there are many different types of yogi but who is the top most yogi yogi naam api sarve sa who is that madagata antaratmana one who is thinking of me always uh, that is perfect yoga so that statement that one who is thinking of me always he is perfect yogi so that is now being explained it is the conclusion of the sixth chapter and in seventh chapter Krishna explains how you can think of Krishna twenty-four hours. This is being explained. Therefore, he says, "Maya sakta mana prat." How you can think of somebody else unless you are very much attached to him? Just like a boy is attached to some girl, or a girl is attached to some. That is natural. So when he becomes too much attached, he always or she thinks always. Uh, otherwise, it is not possible to 
to come to this attachment platform, you have to learn how to love Krishna. Otherwise, how it is possible? Unless you love somebody, how can you think of him twenty-four hours? That is not possible. So this maya shakta, Krishna is summarily, but the acharyas, they have defined how we can. We have got attachment. Every one of us got, got this propensity or the quality of attachment to others. The wife is attached to husband, husband is attached to wife, the son is attached to the father, father is attached to the son, uh, everyone. Uh, that attachment to increase, then to your family, to your community, to your society, to your country, to your nation. The attachment is there. You cannot say that I have no attachment for anything. That is not possible. Uh, when sannyasi, sannyasi means sat nasi, one who has given up attachment for this false material world. That is the philosophy of Sankaracharya. He says, Brahma Satta Jagana Mithya. Therefore, he is advising that you have got attachment for this material world. This is false. Brahma Satta Jagana Mithya. He simply explains the negative side. But Brahma Satta. Brahma, the supreme, absolute truth is truth. And so attachment for that. You cannot give up the attachment spirit, but you have to change the attachment. Ah. That is um, freedom. Ah. We have got so many attachments for this material world. You have to transfer that attachment for Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, Maya Sakta Manaparti. He doesn't say that you give up your attachment. How you can give up your attachment? That is not possible. Ah. He says, just transfer the attachment to me. Ah. So all of a sudden, to transfer the attachment to Krishna and give up our all attachment for this material world, uh, that is called renounced order of life. Uh, but Krishna says you do this, but it is not so easy. It is not so easy. Therefore, we have to go to the person, tadvijnana thamsa guru meva abhigacchet. This is the Shastra Vedic injunction. That in order to learn that art, how to transfer your attachment to Krishna, you must approach to Guru. He will teach you. So this Krishna consciousness movement means that we are teaching people how to give up this material attachment and become attached to Krishna. Attachment cannot be given up. That is not possible. Attachment should be purified. That is what. Uh, that is therefore the bhakti definition is given by Narad Muni. Sarvapadhi binin muktam tat paratena nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanang bhakti ruchat. Now our attachment is on account of this designation. What is that designation? I am American, I am Englishman, I am Indian. These are all designation, because the soul is neither Indian nor American nor this nor that. Soul is pure, pure spirit soul. These are material designation according to the body. So if we become purified, sarva upadhi binin muktam, that is called mukti. Mukti, the definition of mukti means hitya anatha rupam because we are staying at the present moment in this material state, we have got so many material attachments. 
That is, we are staying in a different way. We are living in the bodily concept of life and in relations with this body we have got so many different attachments. So mukti means when you do not stay in the bodily concept of life, you stay in your original uh, state of life, that is called mukti. Mukti does not mean that one has to uh, acquire so many hands, so many legs. No. It is the change of consciousness. That is mukti. Just like what John did. He was conscious in the beginning of the fight. He was conscious of his relatives, of his family, means bodily. Uh, but when he understood Bhagavad Gita from Krishna, he said, Yes, Karishvatanantava. In the beginning he denied to fight, but when he understood Bhagavad Gita, he agreed, yes, I shall fight. Karishvatanantava. Uh, I am now full conscious. Uh, Nasto moho. This attachment, bodily attachment, is now finished. Krishna, it is now finished. Uh, Nasto moho. Siti labdhya. Because we forgot, I have already said that we are forgetful. This is our another nature. Now my forgetfulness is gone. Tat prasadat by your mercy. You have taught me Bhagavad Gita. So by your mercy, my two things, that bodily attachment and uh, misconception of life is now gone. Now I know that I am your servant. I am your eternal servant. And it is my duty to carry out your order. Therefore I agree. Karise bachalam tam. I shall now execute. You want me to fight? No consideration of my relatives or family. I shall fight with them. This is the conclusion about me. So similarly, if you want actual life, it is a, this is a brahm or mitha life, this material life, means bodily concept of life, that I am this body and this uh, uh, family is mine, uh, this country is mine, the community is mine, I have got to do for my family, I have got to do this, I have to go to this. So many. Uh, this is due to attachment, and this is all false attachment. Uh, therefore we have to transfer the attachment to Krishna. That is called maya sakta mana prārtha. This is yoga system. How to transfer this attachment to attachment to Krishna. This is called bhakti yoga. Uh, and this is the first class yoga. You sit down here or stand there. Maya sakta mana prārtha. This is to be practiced. Uh, this yoga should be practiced. How to increase attachment for Krishna? Maya sakta mana prārtha. Yoga junjan. You have to practice this yoga. How? Madāsraya under me or under my representative. Mat ashraya. Mat means me and ashraya means taking shelter of. So either, but if you say where is Krishna? No. Mat ashraya means another thing. One who has taken of my shelter. That is devotee. Madhasra. So either you take, that is not possible because Krishna is not yet present. He is present, but we have no eyes to see. Uh, although he is present here in this deity, he is present here, but because we have no eyes to see, we are thinking this is made of stone. And some rascal will say, that they are going to see some stone, because we have no eyes to see. So we have to learn the art, how to see Krishna, how to see Krishna. So that practice, 
madāsraya, if we want to learn this art, we have to take the shelter of the Goswamis or the devotees. The Rupa Goswami says how this āsakti can be increased. He gives formula. Madāsraya, Krishna says, either you take shelter of me directly or to a person who has taken shelter of me. Just an electric power, uh, electric uh, house, powerhouse may be long away, but if the electricity is coming through some uh, where, and if you touch, immediately you will, immediately in touch with the powerhouse. So either you touch the powerhouse or a and where in Sigma he is empowered by the power of you touch, you get the electricity. This is called parampara system. Madasra. Evam parampara praptam. Imagaraja sayo vidu. Yoga nasta paranda. These are all explained. So madasra, as soon as we, because Krishna is not visible at the present moment, he is visible, but we cannot see. So we take ashraya, center of his devotee. Therefore, Sri Rupa Goswami gives his formula how to become attached to Krishna. The first he says, Adho Sraddha. First of all, faith. The beginning, just like you have come very kindly to this temple, with some faith that here is the Krishna consciousness movement, let us go there and see what they are doing out of inquisitiveness or something. Then this is little faith. Now you have to increase this faith. This is required. Adho sadhya tato sadhu sangha. How you can increase the faith? Those who are actually engaged in Krishna consciousness, in devotional service, associate with them. Don't think that at home you'll be perfect. That is not possible. Uh, at home there is no such facilities. Uh, here you will get the facilities. Here the devotees, they are actually following the instruction of Madhasraya, one who was taking the shelter. They are rising early in the morning. Uh, at home you'll think, oh, what is early in the morning? <laughs> Let me enjoy sleep. So there is no such facility at home. Therefore this institution is started. If you are serious about Krishna consciousness, if you are serious about increasing your attachment for Krishna, then you should come and live with the devotees. Sadhu Sangha. Now they are chanting. They are um, having Mangalārtri, they are decorating the deity, and so many things. Uh, everyone who will associate will see, and then he will be inclined to be initiated. This is our practical experience. Uh, they will submit, please let me be initiated. Uh, this is called bhajanakriya. Bhajanakriya means if he is serious about bhajanakriya, how to worship. Uh, then anartha nivittisya. Anartha means we have learned so many nonsense things. They can be summarized in four items. Illicit sex, intoxication, gambling, and meat eating. So anartha nivittisya. If you accept bhajanakriya, the activities of devotional service, then these things will be varied. Then, when you are purified, as I have said, the sarvapādhi minin muktam, when he is free from all these material bad habits, he is mukta, he is liberated. Uh, then, tato sadhu saṅga tato bhajana kriya tato anarthanibya tato nishtha. Then your faith, beginning was the faith, this faith becomes established. Ah. You can know what can move it. Tatu nishtha. 
tato ruchi then you get some taste how krishna consciousness is sweet tato nishta tato ruchi tatha shakti then attachment unless you get taste how you can be attached to krishna so these are the processes so krishna saying summarize they have explained by the maya yeah, madasa those who are devotees so in this way we have to increase our attachment for krishna and when we increase our attachment for krishna then krishna says asamsayam samagram ma jatha gyasya ji tachinu now everyone has got some doubt whether there is god or not whether god is person or impersonal whether he is something uh, no idea uh, in any religion you take ask him so what do you know about god uh, that he cannot explain because he is not in the platform how can we understand the god that is not possible uh, it is not way but we are confident what is god what is his father's name what is his name what is his address everything no sangshaya no doubt everything complete a sangshaya we are confident that we are going to krishna back to home back to god there is no doubt a sangshaya and samagram samagram is full what is god